On April 16, 1998, an EF3 tornado struck downtown Nashville, damaging skyscrapers, tossing cars, and dominating the nightly news. But just 80 miles south, the only F5 tornado in Tennessee history would be forgotten. Around 3.30 p.m., a severe thunderstorm forms in McNary County. Due to an outflow boundary existing across Middle Tennessee, the storm quickly strengthens, raining golf ball-sized hail on rural parts of Hardin County. As the storm continues into Wayne County, the KOHX Doppler radar detects a strong hook on the south end of the storm. Around 4 o'clock, a tornado touches down. Shortly after, a picture is taken of the tornado during its early stage. Multiple vortices can already be seen at the base of the tornado. It quickly strengthens into a half-mile wedge. Here, Kerry Kinslow takes a picture of the tornado as it approaches peak strength. After continuing for a few miles through rural neighborhoods, the tornado undergoes a process known as cycling. Cycling happens when the main updraft weakens and a new, stronger updraft takes its place. After a brief lifting, another tornado touches down quickly strengthening into an even more powerful monster. As this tornado heads towards the town of Deerfield, Doug Alley captured this video of the now F5 tornado. No, look at it! Yeah. Here it is. Here look at that thing! The winds inside the tornado strengthen to immense speeds, tearing open the ground, stripping the bark off trees, and leveling well-built homes across Lawrence County. One large tree is rumored to have been wedged in the ground over 1,000 yards from where it was initially located. The tornado approaches the home of Lawrenceburg resident Linda Graves, reducing it to nothing more than a pile of bricks. Luckily, Graves had decided to shelter at a friend's house, likely saving her life. At the same time, Bobby Long stands in his backyard filming. This tornado travels for 17 miles, destroying 100 homes and injuring 22. Miraculously, no one is killed. However, this storm is not finished. The supercell drops a third tornado three miles north of Lawrenceburg. The tornado once again quickly intensifies into an F4 with wind speeds around 200 miles an hour. The tornado approaches a woman and her kids sheltering in a trailer. Despite being thrown in the air, they all escape with only minor injuries. Fortunately, the tornado occurs almost exclusively over rural areas, but this also means that there are very few accounts. The tornado finally lifts in Mary County after traveling 18 miles. In total, these tornadoes span 59 miles, causing three deaths and over $7.5 million in damage. The American Red Cross and the Salvation Army would play a major role in assisting with the cleanup and recovery process. The major cleanup was over in about two weeks, but it would take years for Lawrenceburg to fully recover. But what makes this tornado so forgotten? Despite the tornado's impressive wind speeds and destructive nature, the local and national medias focused almost exclusively on the Nashville F3. Because the Lawrenceburg F5 had occurred over mostly rural land, it was deemed insignificant by the major news outlets. Even today, local media still focus more on the Nashville tornado, and it kind of makes me upset to see that some of these tornadoes are not getting the recognition they deserve. So if you want to watch another video on another forgotten F5, watch my video of the 1990 Heston, Kansas Twin Tornadoes.